No matter who you are or where you live, if your passion is hunting, then make your dreams come true. Join us on a great safari and adventure as we traverse five continents in search of world's finest hunting trophies. Join the best professional hunters in the world in search for the best trophy animals. You will experience unforgettable hunting adventures and international cultures that few people on earth get to know. Share the thrill of the ultimate challenge to promote the sustained use of world's greatest renewable resources, wildlife conservation, and fair chase hunting. Feel the excitement, share the passion, join the experience of the ultimate adventure that this world has to offer. Let Safari Season take you there. Welcome to Canada, the country of wild elks, white-tailed deer, dangerous grizzlies, and keen hunters. Alright, we, uh, we're here, we're heading in. Um, Theron seen a 5x5 bull this morning with some cows. Figures they headed into this bush, so we're going to get in set up and uh, see if we can get some action. The plan for that hunting type with luring is simple. The hunter gets in the forest at around 100 meters from the whistler, usually from his lee side in order to be able to remain on the elk's pathway when the animal approaches and if it approaches, attracted by the caller's whistling. Tyron's is experience with the hunting horn, and the sound he manages to extract out of it is so natural that elks cannot resist the temptation to come and fight. Producing the elk roaring and the females whistling in turns makes the calling even more irresistible to the stags. female gets interested in Tyron's calling and almost passes through the place where Brandon is hiding. A female's presence would almost certainly attract some stag. The only thing we could do is patiently wait to see what destiny had for us. Tyron Soroka is the only ignorant one of what is going on and whether his efforts had attracted the animals, but he is an experienced hunter and knows that he would manage to lure the elks to come closer. The only thing he doesn't know is when. The shot is not precise, but the elk didn't realize what is going on and comes back soon to its opponent.
It's getting dark and the mosquitoes get extremely impertinent. A hunter's inability to wave and chase them away makes them even thirstier for human blood. Soon, the situation becomes unbearable, but the elk is already nearby and every rapid movement would chase it away as much as it chased the mosquitoes. God, eh? <laughs> Mosquitoes are biting the shit out of me. Just waited and he called at the perfect time there. And uh, came in awesome. Clean shot. That was awesome. We called him in three times. Yeah, three times. I knew where he was. 